Hello, uh, my name is Beto and uh, I wanted to talk to you about some problems that uh, the G27 has and is according to it gets very warm and uh, start acting a little bit plus sometimes you get this out of the way you start to race and the uh, wheel starting to get to the right go to the right go to the right go to the right go to the right and um, there's another video that I'm gonna put a link on on the on my video that they teach you how to fix it. But once I did that, cause I bought two small uh, fans that I put over here with uh, tie ups and it looked ugly. So when I was fixing that thing, I realized that I could fix it, and uh, then I just cut a little bit of plastic in and uh, I put them in and. Uh, with a switch so I can turn it on or off whatever I want and uh, I'm going to show you how to do it and um, I think you're going to like it plus I want to show you I did this thing uh, it's uh, an acrylic base this is an acrylic base I did it with uh, um, polycarbonate and then I did something called sugru which is a plastic uh, like a play-doh that you make it form and then it turns into rubber and I put a, a magnet a um, neodymium magnet and I did an old plate on top of this so I just put it there and I use my old phones uh, which is uh, this one goes here which is my iPhone 4 which is an, an old one and this one is the iPhone 6 and I don't use it anymore so I put it over here in order to use um, all the, the data and um, actually I can change the data look uh, you will see oh also I put I took this out this and put a neodymium uh, neodymium magnet oh, in the center a big one and three small ones here where the and uh, I did a base with a round thing and um, put the neodymium in the center and so I just go like this and it sticks there and uh, actually you can um, you can uh, turn the wheel and this is what you see uh, let me just say no here and uh, this is what you see when you're driving and uh, I, I use my phone I put my phone here which is the, the iPhone 6 and I put it here so I have the three phones uh, over here and then and I could change with uh, the program that I could uh, do whatever I need okay well uh, I hope you like this and uh, I'm gonna show you how to do the the conversion okay have fun and uh, uh, that's it have fun okay so what I did is uh let me open this thing here and let me take this thing out out of the way right now so what i did is um on this part if you can see this part well you can see this part it has like a grill in here but if you look in this part on the top here it has like a barrier so actually the air is not flowing and it has only two little holes in here so the air can vent by convection because the air will come cooler on the bottom and hotter on the top so what I did is I cut this on a circle I bought this um, fans in uh, Amazon they're four inches I think or two inches something like that well just check my finger so you can take a look at that that's a pen so you can take the size of it so what I did is I did a cut and uh, I put the grill uh, on one on the other so one will blow the in uh, the air in and one is gonna blow 
be air out. So it's gonna be a lot of flow on the air. So what I did is just cut it, put these things in, and when I put the grill, you will see that it fits perfect. It fits perfect. And uh, at the beginning I did it with a tie rub, uh, just put it over here and it will look awful because it was outside. But now, since we have it inside, you cannot see it. And uh, let me show you on the other part here. On this part, uh, by the way, I cut it with a Dremel. This is a Dremel. And, um, and with a just a sand tool here. So I just uh, sanded it and took everything out. And on this part, on the bottom, I did a niche here. A groove, I mean, I'm sorry, my English is not that good. So what I did is, uh, so I put it over here. So when you, uh, when you fix it and uh, you drop it to the ground, <laughs> then, so it's like this. There you go. Okay, it fits. And now, just put it here over there. And um, we'll put, okay, so you have to disconnect this. Well, I will tell you, uh, yeah, yeah, you know. And okay, so put it here. So actually, and we use the groove to put this to here and uh, voila there you go you can see it how it looks now you can see that the uh, fans they're inside so one takes the air in out the air in and the other one out and uh, I did it here because all the rest of the cables that go out from you know the steering wheel um, from the uh, pedals and also the shifter they go through here so at the end I could just tie it up with the plastic so they can go all together out and so basically you will not notice it so uh, this is it it's not that hard and by the way the problem that if you have any problems that you're steering well it's starting straight but when you're running suddenly it start to fade to the right or the left and uh and you start drawing but you go straight but your your um your steering wheel is going more and more and more to the right so you end up almost 90 degrees but the car is going straight so this is the rotary encoder and uh so you take this cap out it goes by itself book and you have to tied very very hard the screws that are in here because I don't know why they get loose but uh, according to Oli Pakala I hope I am saying her his name right um, you just put that thing in and it will fix the problem and actually it was it was very 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 uh, loose and that's the reason I did uh, the whole thing and find out that I have extra extra holes, I mean extra space to put this. Okay, uh, back in a second. Okay, and, and this is the final product, as you can see. Check it out, you cannot see the, the fans because they're inside. And the only thing you can see the cables and uh, it's beautiful. Hope you like it, bye-bye.